same job as fatted calf is pretty sweet. I do whatever I want. I eat, sleep, and be merry. That's my deal. The only hard part of the job is everyone calling me fatted. I think of myself as more pleasantly plump, but the name hasn't caught on yet. Usually everything is calm, but it feels like something is not. Everyone has been coming around, looking at me, poking my belly, and I don't know why. It's been an exciting few days around the farm. The farmer's youngest son, who left town months ago, has come home. The cats, meow, 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 were glad to see him. He always petted them. The sheep, <laughs> he's a great guy too. The fatted calf. Hey, pleasantly plump calf. Sorry. The pleasantly plump calf hey. doesn't care one way or the other. But the goats. 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 Uh, goats. Goats. <laughs> are so sure. He always ignored them. And all the animals remember how horrible the scene was when the youngest son left. All the animals watched as the farmer and the youngest son talked. But Dad, it's just not fair. I slaved and slaved for you on this farm. What do I get in return? Nothing. I need room to grow into the person I was meant to be. I need some freedom. Freedom? You want freedom? You already have it. Because we work in the land, you've got freedom from hunger. You've got freedom from the weather here in our nice house. You've got responsibility and pride in a job well done. And once these days, this whole farm will be split between you and your older brother. What more could you ask? I could ask for this. Give me my share of the farm now. But, son, that's like wishing I was dead. Dad, I don't wish you were dead. I just need to go find myself. And I won't find myself on the snake in the farm. Do you love me? Give me the cash and I'm out of here. They argued back and forth until the father finally let his youngest son go. The kid was whistling as he packed up his donkey and began heading out. He had big plans in big places. The animals didn't know where he was going, but they knew the father was worried. So they said their goodbyes in their own special ways. The sheep and the goats bleated, <laughs> the cat's meow, meow, and the pleasantly plump cat hardly noticed. Yeah, whatever. Bring me back a souvenir. I will. Every day, the father stood outside and he looked down the road. He just stared. He'd say things like, My son, my son. Then he'd hang his head. That young son just about broke the father's heart. Then one morning, the youngest son was back. So, did he strike it rich? Did he come back to brag to his big brother? Not exactly. He'd lost every penny of his inheritance. He'd partied like there was no tomorrow. And one day he woke up and there was no tomorrow. At least as far as his money went. He was flat broke. He'd been working at a pig farm for food and a place to sleep. He was starving to death. A pig farm? A nice Jewish boy doesn't belong in a job like that. That's what he finally decided. That's why he came home. Well, did his father take a nap? There's no way I'd do that. Well, good thing you weren't the father then. He gave his youngest son a new ring and a new robe and sandals. And they're going to have a party, too. A party? Cool. You want to have a party, chickens? Oh, chickens! <laughs> How about you, sheep and goats? <laughs> and I know you're party animals, right, kittens? <laughs> Everyone seems happy about the youngest son, except for the older <clears throat> son. He found his father and said, I can't believe this. He takes your money, he throws the money away on loose living, and you welcome him back. I hate to say it, but my little brother is a loser. Son, 
I understand you're angry. Angry? I'm furious. I work on this farm for my entire life, and what do I get? Nothing. My little brother gets a party. What's with that? Your brother isn't getting a party because of what he did. He's getting a party because he's alive. It was like he was dead to me. Now he's back. You've always been with me, son. Everything I have is yours. Can't you just be happy your brother is home? The oldest son should just lighten up, you know? Have a party. Relax. Have a good time. Eat up. You know what? Even I've been invited. You? Yeah, I've heard that. In fact, I'm going to be the guest of honor. Isn't that cool? Yeah, right. 